Hola, buenos dias. Hello, good morning. This is your Unified Ascension as of here. Uh, it's, I can't believe it. It's amazing how I'm getting all these viewers and subscribers helping me out as we're helping each other out. It's great to know that we have the unity and uh, togetherness and uh, it's just going extremely well. So I'd like to thank all the subscribers. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. And to the Higher Self channel for giving me love and support. <laughs> I woke up this morning and as I was telling you how you're getting that circulation through its rotation, through the ecosystem and its body capacitor. Well, I'm starting to feel all the energies coming in. Like it's just amazing force that's going over it. My eyes are heavy and all that. But it, I'm feeling a little bit more lighter. So like I said, people are definitely transcending through their levitation levels, right? Everybody's on a different vibration through its frequencies and its harmonics. So congrats on that. That's that's great to know. Um, I've had a lot of complaints about uh, my video content, how they can't hear me and all that. Well, like I said, the reason why it's echoing is because I'm in a uh, well, I'm in a room where it does echo. Okay, a lot of people can hear me and a lot of people can't. Um, I can't raise my voice on signals or frequencies through harmonics because I can break its frequency and its intelligence. So therefore um, I'm speaking on, you know, a low level, but in space continuum, I'm on a high level through different intelligence and vibration. So I just wanted you guys to know that. Um, so that's why I'm doing it here. So hopefully you guys can hear me a lot more clear. And what I'll do is I'll try to not do it in that space where I did before uh, because um, my energy fields are connected through its atmosphere and its uh, infinitive breath is connecting through its voice and signal as the electronic device itself is connecting through so that's probably why you see uh, you know and also hear my voice very low and it echoes so hopefully this doesn't echo and it's in a better atmosphere with my energies uh, so today um, I, I, I think it's great to know that um, a lot more people are connecting and it's great to see that you know you guys are actually you know believing the system through its frequencies and its ascension and stream awakening so it's it's great to know these things. All these viewers are getting, oh, I get this spark and I don't know what to do. You know, like, wow, this is unbelievable. This is so real. Like, it is. It's very real. And it's affecting its reality. But, like I said, we're going through a plasma force, through its continuum. Uh, we haven't reached its energy core yet, but we are getting there. So, we are going a lot faster. So, we're still going to go through that levitation. So you're going to probably feel a little bit more lighter, lighter, lighter. And, you know, I meant to ask you about, like I told you, I'm going to go into the city this weekend and uh, use my diamond core, set the alignments to the pyramids, and everybody is going to feel a lot more energy. Now, this is where it gets interesting. I was sending comments to the uh, people about my upgrades of what's happening. So I like to keep that intact of what what's going on. So we're going through this oscillation. Now this oscillation is a ring. It's a wind force through its factors of upgrades. So it's a tremendous force through the plasma system, solar systems, mecha systems. And this oscillation is going to be a continuous wind factor with its interference and its interaction and its interfacing. So it's going to interact with another plantation of energies. They're called solar energies. And it's particles of energies through its atmosphere, through the multi-universe is combined through another paradox. So it's kind of like a... Um, you know, it's a, it's, a, uh, it's a continuous force and it's going like shh, shh. So what's happening th through the, the chakra formations and the crown chakra 
all these energies are going to come into you. Now you're going to really feel it in the heart. See, I need, I, I know ahead of time what's happening through the energies because that's given through me through information and it's a higher intelligence. So I'm going into the ninth thousand era now. Uh, this video contact is going to get a little bit more uh, uprising, more uh, understanding, uh, a little bit more difficult and a lot more complex. Uh, because the higher I go through space continuum, there's more to know and to understand what's happening through its uh, solar systems and planets and intelligence. So what's going to happen is your heart is going to expand and it's going to have jolts like, you know, with your body, but this time it's going to be your heart. So it's going to know. So you're going to feel that kind of sensation too. Uh, that's the oscillation. What's happening through the ecosystem is it's circling right now, right? Okay. And the, the heart itself, you know, it's doing its continuous force, but what's happening now is it's cleansing everything inside its heart, the heart chakra, the soul definition, the soul win and the soul without, the galactic in and the galactic force out. So through the sacred heart, it's right now collecting ideas and patterns through the voice and signals and telegraphing waves, and it's shape-shifting its particles through its energies and its universes through the multi-universes combined. So we're procreating through creating in alignments through modifications and calculations through the heart. And this is where the oscillation comes in. So an oscillation, like I said, it's a, it's a connection cloud, uh, but it's disturbing and it's a disruption through its plasma force. So that's why you're gonna feel that heart going So it's a spark. So I'm just letting you guys know what's happening through that. Uh, if you get any questions, let me know. If you feel your heart, it's like sparking, that kind of thing, because I'm getting that today. So whatever I get ahead of time, I let you guys know on video content. So you get clear of what's happening through its upgrades and its systems. Um, it's very important that I give you this information because you need to know on a day-to-day -day basis that's why I keep putting videos up every single day every day I put up a video because I'm going higher into space I'm in a 9,000 era right now through higher higher intelligence and um, the video contact you're gonna find it's going to be going a lot faster and the energies are going to be a lot more stronger now so you're gonna feel that pulsation of the heart that's a spark and uh, that's what you're gonna feel through its energy cycles. Um, so, you know, the meditation is going really well. I'm getting so many more viewers, which is great. A lot more three-dimensionals and they're connecting with their wheel. Uh, try to use your chakra formations for um, understanding your space, not space continuing, your space, your definitive space, uh, your sacred space. Um, this is where it's good to know how to use the yin and the yang. Now this is a full collaboration through relationship and partnership because the yin and the yang is everything through his body capacitor and its ecosystem, especially the mind capacitor, the mind telepathy through intelligence. So um, there are going to be light formations that are going to go to a higher speed and they're going to be seeing a lot more higher intelligence through its alienations. Now the alienations are on other planets too. Um, uh, there's also um, starlight energies and the starlight energies are through the diamond core. So I subsurface myself through its line formations. As I said before, when I go into the city um, this weekend, that's where you guys are going to feel the oscillation. 
so I'm giving you a heads up on what's happening. And um, you're gonna, basically everybody is on a frequency level now, which is great. Uh, we're not so much in vibration. There's still a couple of three dimensionals that are still um, understanding, okay, I'm not awake yet, how do I awake? It's not something that you can say to yourself, I wanna wake. Now, you have to be somehow related, you know, kind of have a connection through the dream sequence. Or you can be connected through your soul, which is the twin. Everybody has a twin. Now, you can awake from a twin flame, or you can wake up through meditation. But to wake up through meditation, you have to understand it's yin and yang theory. You have to understand yourself, you have to understand humans, you have to understand population, you have to understand nature, you have to appreciate everything and every anything around you. So you get full friendship through collaboration and relationship and partnership. Those are the four things that you need for meditation and space continuum. That's the only way you're going to be able to communicate through uh, any kind of a uh, uh, aliens through its plantation and its intelligence. Now you have the Plotians, the Artrillians, Lyrians, Syrians, uh, Gargarians. <laughs> There's so many um, intelligence on its uh, plantation through its solar systems. I can't even tell you how many solar systems there are. In the 9,000 air, uh, Everything is on a continuous energy flow, so it has its own continuous force, but it's all on harmonics. But the harmonics is unlimited. That's how fast it's going. I think I said that in my last videos, if you check up on that. The higher frequency you go through harmonics, the more you can see yourself going ahead a lot further. So that's what I mean. We're in the present. But you're, you can allow yourself to move ahead, not too far ahead, just enough so you can get to where you're going to be in the next, uh, you know, couple of months, whatever. Uh, write things down. I always find use the positive and the, the negative of things. You know, you have the positive side and you have the negative side. So you write down the positives and you write down the negatives. Positive always takes over the negatives. It's your negative thoughts that basically correct the system through the positive because the positive is always overriding the negative systems. So negative side, the bad side, doesn't exist in space continuum through harmonics. It's not allowed. It's prohibited. And it doesn't exist because everything's based on mind telepathy through its intelligence and its alienations formations through its calculations. Now the ground formations uh, are very powerful through the mountains and the volcanoes. Its water is continuing. And it's, uh, it's got underwater cities through. To the, um, the sonic waves, how we use dolphins. Now dolphins are, are great for uh, uh, synchronizing your souls they have extremely high pitch I don't know if you know that but if you ever uh, are underwater and you hear a dolphin it's like music to your ears but those are electronic devices that go through space continuum so dolphins have a huge huge transmission through its solar systems um, when I told you that I was living on Lemuria and, uh, you know, my habitat, I think that was in my, you know, couple of movies, uh, video content through its, um, well, you know, it's funny because it's kind of like a movie, but the movie keeps going and never ends. So you went through press reference and my habitat is still Lemuria. But I live in space, I work in space, and uh, 
I'm also commander in chief through its galactic system and its energy core. So that's why I'm saying in one of my videos where I was saying that, uh, you know, we need life formations on board so they can get that collaboration through relationship and partnership, through its frequency and its vibration. And the vibrations turn into harmonics through its frequencies. Now, a vibration is just basically, it's, it's a lower tone. Frequencies, it's like changing its vibration, right? So the reason why I say that is because those are the three continuous forces that you use through space continuum. And the harmonics is unlimited. Remember, the higher you go through dimension, the more intelligence that you see through its uh, plantation. Now the fifth dimension uh, is going to be a lot more trickier because we have to go through the Rainbow Bridge. And the Rainbow Bridge is, it has its full access through its tunnel. Now the tunnel itself and its ground formations is, is electric, it's electronic. Uh, this is where you have to really understand your energy fields and the yin and yang theory. Uh, again, you don't have to master it, but you have to have a basic understanding of what is the ascension. And there's people still asking me, you know, if this is the ascension that, that I'm awakening. Uh, what is the purpose of it? Well, it's, it's easy. It's waking you up. It's giving something that you never had. You know, it's like, you know, on Christmas morning and you all of a sudden you wanted something so badly. And you're thinking at the back of mind, did I get it? Did I receive it? Did my parents give it to me? You know, and then you look at the gift. You think, is it what I think it is? You open the gift and it is. It's because your thought process was thinking about it. But the thinking has no transition. It becomes thought. Like I said, in space continuum, thinking doesn't it, it doesn't exist. Only thought process and moving forward. And when you move exceptionally forward, oh, it's, it just gets harder and harder through its energies and its cycles. So my kinetic ways through its telegraphing patterns are connecting through this video channel and this electronic box. So that's why these viewers are feeling these things because of my thought process. And again, my telepathy is extremely powerful if it's done right because everything is based on frequency. It's changing, you know, okay. This is the vibration. Changing the frequency is like turning a dial. So you're turning it up or you're turning it down. So what happens when you're meditating? Are you on a lower vibration or are you on a high vibration? And if you are, you can change that vibration to its frequency levels just by turning the knob. Now, sense of the word, you're turning the vocabulary of the brain. So you're changing it on a higher frequency. So you can go to a higher force through its connections and its century circles and the century circle uh, is the, the yin and the yang so you know everybody all you need to know is that vibration frequencies and harmonics are the only thing that lives in space continuum through my telepathy and its and its intelligence and again, that's the only way alienations of any platitude of any formations through its alignments. It's the only way they can communicate. So I just, you know, I, I, I like to make it clear to everybody that what's happening through space continuum is self evolving through individuality and its circuits. 
know, I think I mentioned too in my in the year three thousand how it we have no governments, and the governments alone are its individual servants, which is great. So um, through space continuing, and it's that air that you want to get into. You have to know how to change your frequency levels so you can get to that place that you want to be. So when we platitude on the fifth dimension and Father and Mother Gaia has its correction on everything that they need to do, but they need our help and they will help us and guide us. That's, that's what their purpose is. That's what they're here for. They'll help us to ascend, help us to awake, help us to join, unite, come together as one, as a unity. And once Mother Gaia goes across, it's nature's core to the fifth planet of the fifth dimension. She can spread her seed and open up its nature and its atmosphere. And Father can do everything else through space continuum and his plantations. So I bring to you all these videos that are extremely important and I'm very glad to see that everybody's paying attention knowing that this is exceptionally real. It's through the spiritual mind, through the spiritual self, and the higher self. And the reason why these things are happening is because we're trying to change revolution, change its atmosphere, change for their greater good. Because I know everybody wants to be happy. I know I want to be happy every day. I mean, sure, we have our ups and downs, but at least you're going to be able to get over it a lot more quicker because you're on a higher frequency. And once you reach that frequency, you can balance out your energies. And then when you get to that point, you can understand what harmonics are. And when you get to that point, you can go to a higher realm through its alienation, its plantations, its intelligence. Any kind of solar system that you want to go to, you can so, uh, I think that's good. You know, I've given you know, enough, enough information for now. I'll keep you updated on what's going on um, through space continuum and the ascension and the ascendance, how they're ascending nicely. So, uh, if you have any questions or comments, I'm here to ask. 